<laughs> Listen, we try to try, try to keep it a thousand with y'all. Okay, well, okay there we go. All right, All right. Good, good to know. What's the ne- what's that? We doing the next Hannibal? Yeah, album? yeah, we're gonna do the next Hannibal one. The next Hannibal okay. one we got is Nas is still mad. Check oh, this out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nas is still mad. Okay, so l- let me before before we talk about the album art, let me talk about the album first. Yeah, uh, I am a big Nas fan. Like, let's uh, let's start there. I am a big Nas fan. I think Nas is one of the greatest rappers of all time. There's a reason that he typically pops up in the top five of the greatest rapper of all time list. You know, a lot of people have him at number one. He pops up on a lot of lists, and he's got a lot of great albums. Like, you know, Illmatic is arguably a classic. It's perennially considered a hip hop classic. Uh, um, uh, 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 Illmatic, uh, I, I am. Uh, uh, Ace, what's the one I'm forgetting? Um, the second album. Uh, it was written. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah, it, it it was written. Fantastic album. I am fantastic album. And he he like he's recently won a bunch of Grammys for rap album of the year. I think he won it like two times in a row um, for uh, the King's Disease Project. He is a, a well known lyricist. Fantastic uh, delivery. Great storyteller. Um, yeah, that I, that I cannot say enough good things about Nas. And as talented a rapper as he is, and a bit as big a fan as I am, I've actually never seen Nas live before, right? Yeah. Which is super weird because I've seen everybody live, but this album in particular, like for me, this is my favorite Nas album. This was the album that Nas released when he and Jay Z were having their famous beef. Yes. When Jay Z put out the takeover, Nas counterpunched with Ether, that shit that make your soul burn slow. Ether was on this motherfucking album. And he could have just gave us Ether and just gave us a, a mid album that he just rushed a bunch of joints out. But nah, he didn't do that. He gave us Rewind on this album and he gave us one mic on this album. This man gave us multiple classics and hits on this fucking project. Top to bottom, front to back. I love every song. I'm like, there's one song on this project I don't like. There's Which one track? song is produced by Trackmasters. Uh, Everything else, and that there was a time where Trackmasters would always have the worst song on everybody album, right? <laughs> Even on the Blueprint, Jay Z's classic. There's one song on it that's skippable, produced by Trackmasters. Tony Pope, get your shit together. Um, this album is amazing. I think it is definitely slept on by a lot of people, but this album is fucking fantastic. Which yeah. is why this gaudy album cover is so fucking lame. I hate that he's crouching. I hate that he's wearing orange. I hate the fact, like, I, I'm not a fan. I don't like that Still is in one color and Matic is in a different color. I, I don't like it. I've never liked this album. As much as I love this album, I have never liked this album, Mark. All right. All right. Never. I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. And, and it is very indicative of the time period that it came out in. But yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Yeah, I I look at it and I think uh, like it's I, I agree with you. It's, it's a bad album cover because to me, it looks like the pigeon is sitting there staring at him, going, <laughs> "Since when do, do humans sit here too?" And not even notice has the shat his name out or has shat his album title out on the stoop where the pigeon wanted to shit. That's what it looks like to me. So this this project came out on Samuel L. Jackson's birthday, which is also Stone Cold Steve Austin's birthday. Okay, okay. Yeah, like it. it, it this album came out December eighteenth, two thousand one. Um, yeah, and it just oh, it's such a good album. Like Rule, Got Yourself a Gun is on this project. That was such a good project. I, I love this. I absolutely one thousand percent love this album to date this is still my favorite Nas album i'm not saying like he's got a song on here where he sampled if i can rule the world from tears for fears yeah everybody yeah. wants to yeah. rule the <laughs> hey that shit is so hard that shit is amazing yeah and it just i i don't like this cover i don't i've never liked this cover of all the Nas albums this this cover is just for how great the album is versus what that cover art looks like, it just it doesn't match. You know, yeah. I was like, he got on the orange jumpsuit. It's just, it's 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 very much. You know what it looks like? It looks like put put the the cover art back on screen, Zoe. That that it looks to me like 
a New York rapper was trying to imitate the pen and pixel stuff that they were seeing Cash Money and No Limit do back in the day. Ah, uh, that, that's right. exactly what was happening. Yeah, yep. this this was the New Yorkers trying to do what they saw them doing in Louisiana. Yeah. They was like, hey, this is what No Limit and Cash Money is doing. And this is what we're going to do now. And I was like, you, but you shouldn't do that. <laughs> like these aren't good album covers. Not yeah, one of cool. those they covers did. is good. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. They're we, all we could we could have did a whole show on how bad No Limit album covers was. Oh, all of them real. trash. Yeah, yeah, we could literally just go through their entire discography and just talk about how every ghetto D and charge it to the game and the game is to be told and not to be sold and Mr. Servon's project and Mia X's project. It doesn't matter. They're all bad. It doesn't matter. You can flip a coin. It doesn't matter. They're all bad. Yeah, and it seems like somebody in New York was like somebody in Queens was like, "Hey, son, word is born, God. You don't know say I got my Tims on. Somebody spilled some ketchup on my Wallies. You know what I'm saying?" And then <laughs> fucking they put this album cover out as trash. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I agree. Yeah, Ace, you got yeah. any more on this one? Uh, I love the album. I'll be honest, I'm kind of learning a lot about the the album cover for the first time now because I never really paid it too much mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, not at the time, no, it really wasn't a big deal to me because they they're a little bit they're a little bit less aggressive with the pen and pixel than mm-hmm, they do, mm-hmm. do it around where we are. So I, I don't think it even showed up on my radar. Yeah. Oh, and Destruction Inc. in the chat brought up a good thing. He was like, I, I put the cover back up, Zoe, one more time. Last time, uh, uh, Destruction Inc. pointed out that the, the the towers are in the background of the picture. So this album came out in two thousand and one. So they probably made this cover before 9-11 happened yeah. and then just went ahead and released the album after 9 Because Jay-Z's album actually came out, like the Blueprint came out on 9-11, you know, yeah. and then a couple months later, Nas dropped this album. So it was like Jay-Z had the takeover come out that was the, the the blueprint come out and in his diss song to jay-z uh to nas uh the takeover was on it fantastic yeah. song by the way like yeah, takeover Kanye great. West produced it jay-z wrote a banger and and it was great like i like i have no notes about that song that beat like in the war of who like like the the ether beat is not as good as the takeover beat Right, yeah. Right. But we don't listen to Ether because the beat is good. Nas tore that beat to pieces. Yes, he did. Yeah, Nas yeah, won that, like, and and the takeover, like, no slight on the takeover. Fucking great song. That fantastic. But not Nas. Yeah, did what he said. He Ether. <laughs> yeah, like like Ether is so good, right? Like 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 Ether is so good that it has become a pop culture reference in the world of battle in in the world of hip hop, where if you destroy somebody so completely, it means you just ethered that person. Yeah. Right. It's so good that when, when Kendrick Lamar did euphoria, right. And like one of the side effects of doing ether. Yeah. Is euphoria. Like he, like, like Kendrick recognized the, the, the greatness of it while he was beefing with Drake. And yeah. he referenced it in Euphoria yep. by naming the song Euphoria because that is a side effect of of ether. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And it, look, it, like there's there's levels to this rap beef shit, man. Yeah. And I'm gonna and, tell y'all something yeah. real quick. Take note of this time, this moment on Hannibal and Monty is one of the rare times where we are in complete agreement. <laughs> <laughs> no white no white ladies was harmed in this opinion. <laughs> Like we both just agree. Like I have no yeah. argument to anything you said. Like Monty Early was ready to end the show because of how much he didn't like Tessa Thompson, but we agree on this. Oh my God! Uh, and I know it didn't do you nothing, Monty. You need to give <laughs> give black women a chance. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.